in order to really truly understand how to engage people in general, you have to understand a little bit about the biology behind behavior. All behavior, not just consumer behavior, contains an evolutionary explanation, which has to do with the adaptive function of the behavior, the why behind the behavior, why the behavior is occurring in the first place. Our brains are designed to solve problems related to survival and reproduction in our ancestral environments, which existed thousands of years ago. And in some cases, the problems that our ancestors were solving during the time of human brain evolution are the same ones that we're solving today. But sometimes the problems that our ancestors were solving thousands of years ago no longer exist today. But the preferences, the motivations, the behaviors are still with us. For example, my colleagues and I coined the term the ovulatory competition hypothesis, which is evolution has endowed women with certain motivations and preferences near ovulation. That ovulation shouldn't just shift women's mate preferences, but it should also amp up their desire to compete with other women for status and access to mates. And this can have implications for women's consumer behavior because they use these consumer products as tools to enhance attractiveness. And so what we find is that, sure enough, near ovulation, women want to look more attractive, they want to dress sexier, they are more likely to buy clothing, and other products that are going to be enhancing their attractiveness. So what does this mean for marketers? Well, nowadays, women are no longer tracking their cycles on calendars, but they have moved over to their phones and their wearables and are using uh, fertility apps to track their cycles. So what marketers can do is partner with these fertility apps and serve marketing messages through these apps that women are using to track their cycle at times near ovulation when we know that women have a very deep-seated proclivity for certain kinds of consumer products and not others. And marketers need not know anything about individual women's cycles. It's all based on the data that women are entering into these apps.